Hey budget fam and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mama Sila here and in today's video I will be totaling up all of my sinking funds when it comes to my son savings, my personal Roth IRA retirement account, my personal savings, and my high yield savings. I won't be including my investments in stocks or like those type of investments just because those fluctuate on a day-to-day -day basis if you are into any finance videos into budgeting videos please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on another video so with that being said let's just get right into the video so these are all of my sinking funds i'm just gonna quickly take everything out and then yeah we're gonna organize the money first i do want to take out my my savings tracker and then just get all of this situated so here is all of the money i'm going to go ahead and organize it and then I am going to make another video on basically condensing my sinking fund, so stay tuned for that video. I am currently in Texas, and so that's why I do have a different setup. Please don't mind any of the background noise. My nephews are in school, my son's playing with another nephew, and just, it's insane in this house right now, but I am enjoying every moment of it. So I hope you guys are enjoying any background noises. I know you guys love to hear Ethan, so you might hear him. Alright, so before we get started, I wanted to show you my savings tracker. So for Ethan, which is my son, I have $1,300 in his savings. For my personal Roth IRA account, I also have $1,300 for our high yield savings, which is basically all of our sinking funds total. There is $1,590 and in my personal savings account, there is $5,100. $79 with 20 cents so with that being said this is just going to be my sinking fund total and then we're going to total up all of my savings first we have 100 we have one two three four that's 400 we have a 50 so is that 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, and 20, 40, 60. So that is 560. have our tens we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and 80 dollars in tens 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 and 70 dollars in fives last but not least our ones so we have one two three four five six seven eight 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. Okay, so for our sinking funds total in cash, we have $1,187. So let me quickly write that. I will just keep it the same as the first. And the total is, well, that's right, sinking funds. The total is 
$1,187. Okay, so let me just quickly add this up and then we'll see the total. Wow, so the total amount officially is $10,556.20. I am so shook on that. Again, that's $10,556 with 20 cents. So with a low income, you can still save money. You can still pay off debt. It's just all about your mindset. If it has to be with increasing your income, getting another side hustle, whatever the case may be, it is possible. And this is just so amazing. I didn't think I had $10,000 saved up for us, but this wouldn't have been possible without me budgeting. So with that being said, if you guys are not into savings yet, this is a reason to get into savings because your money will add up even if you start by saving a dollar each paycheck two dollars a paycheck or even up to a certain percentage of your paycheck but with that being said i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys enjoy bye guys